problems happening especially in this country is the act of labeling someone uh, as Wahhabi and the other parties reclaiming themselves as uh, Ahli Sunnah wal Jama'ah. So this is the situation is uh, I used to follow one of the uh, well-known ustaz in this country and always quoted his words. But I encountered some Facebook pages uh, attacking him being one of the Wahhabi and proved with some screenshots of his wordings. But both parties are holding Islam as their religion. So what happened is it creates doubt in my mind towards the Ustaz. So uh, can I seek explanation for this issue? Thank you. I didn't want the sketch question, but anyway, it's the last one. So let's go for it. Uh, as much as I wouldn't like to address the matter, I have to. Okay? Let me explain something. It's not an issue of Wahhabi, non-Wahhabi, what, what. People have been here for years on end. It's an issue of intolerance. It's an issue of extremism on all parties. I believe every Ustaz makes mistakes, without exception. Take the good from all of them and leave the bad. When someone preaches hatred against another, discount it. And if you have the opportunity, go to them and tell them, please, don't talk about other people. I want to ask you a question and I'm going to stand for this. You know who I am, right? I'm a brother of yours in faith. Have you ever heard me talk bad about another person? No. Mashallah. <laughs> Mashallah. The innocent have borne witness. Do you agree? Why? I have so much of goodness to share with the world that I don't have time to worry about others. Come on, come on. Those who talk about others don't have something to present themselves. I'm busy doing my work. So many people send me messages. Oh, someone called you a Wahhabi. Someone called you a Sufi. Someone said you're a Salafi. Someone said you're a Deobandi. Someone said you're a Baralvi. Some of these names, I don't even know what they mean, to be honest with you. I was waiting for the day they said someone called you a chocolate man because that's more, that's true, you know. But all these names for me, I say, hey, look, I know what I am. I'm a Muslim and I'm trying to spread a good message amongst all groups. Let me carry on doing my work. The minute I turn to fight them, I become a fighter. I cause a bigger problem. And now who's going to do this good work? Because my energy, like I said earlier, all the energies are now being utilized, waste of resources, to do something where it's going to be less beneficial, in fact, destructive. So please do yourself a favor. When you hear labeling, you need to be more intelligent than the label. You need to rise above it and tell yourself, whatever good is coming from this person, I will take it. Whatever bad is coming, I will discount it. The reason is, even if you belong to one group, it does not mean the ustazas of your group, everything they say is right. They will also say wrong things. You will have to pick it up. And it doesn't mean that there is a Christian across the road so they cannot teach you something good. I have had people who taught me mathematics and geography and biology and sociology and English language who were Jews and Christians and Hindus and people who belong to other faiths. I took from them whatever I had to and I left whatever I didn't. You follow what I'm saying? So when you go to the university, you will have a lecturer who might be gay, for example. You know, I'm not talking about this nation in particular, but maybe in Europe, okay? You take from them whatever you feel you need to take from them and leave the rest. I'm there to study petroleum engineering, for example, or whatever else. I took whatever I had to and that's it. And I respect them for having given me what they did. That's humanity. The problem with us is, the problem is all over. We all are guilty of labeling others. This one is this. Let's, let's understand. It's qualities that make us or break us. You have a bad quality. Look, I'm sitting with people. I don't need to know what inclination he is or I am. I know I get along on common factors that are 9,999 compared to the one item that I might, I might find that I'm different with him in. Do you know? So this is why I say, let's not allow our nation to crumble based on this labeling that's going on. Take the good from everyone and leave that which is not good, no matter where it's from. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us ease and goodness. May Allah bless your nation. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant you strength and growth. And may whatever issues you may be having be resolved in the best possible way that results in the true growth of your beautiful nation. Jazakumullah khair. Wa sallallahu wa sallam wa baraka ala nabina Muhammad. Wa akhiru da'wana alhamdulillahi rabbil